Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Vintage Vegan here. In today's video, I want to share with you ways that you can decorate on a budget. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more and you love the shabby chic style, then just keep on watching. So my first shabby chic way to decorate is to grab one of these from the Dollar Tree. It's only a dollar and it's so like farmhouse, shabby chic inspired with a rope up the top and they usually always carry them at my Dollar Tree and I just got these from Savers. They were $1.99 and I just put it in here. You might want to put something on the bottom. I put a bag in here and then you just put it in and it looks so cute. And even if your little bouquet does not come with ribbon, you can totally just make your own and tie it around and make it look so cute. And then what I do is I put it on the table and I put this doily, which I actually got from my mom, but you can find these anywhere. Like I think they even have like the fake paper doilies at the Dollar Tree. And then you just place it on a table and it looks so shabby chic and just so cute. So another idea would be to get one of these jars from the Dollar Tree and just fill it up with these fake pine cones. I don't even know if they're like real or fake. I think they might be fake. I don't know. But I just got these around Christmas time. I'm sure they have them still like in craft stores. Um, and then I just wrapped around this little pearl trim as well as this lace from the Dollar Tree and it looks so farmhouse and I've been loving the style lately and like a shabby chic aesthetic. And then the same doily, put it on there and then put it on a table, so cute. So next up, I actually made this from the Dollar Tree and I got one of those round mirrors. These are more rare to come across at the Dollar Tree but it's just this mirror and then I painted it and I like added some embellishments as well as a little starfish to the top and this lace trim off the side. I really love how this came out. My face is like super itchy from this wig, but yeah, um, I really love how this came out and it's definitely a cute shabby chic idea. So next up, I created this hat box. My boyfriend's sister actually gave this to me and it was like really ugly at first and I was like, and she was like, you can just like repaint it and DIY it. So I totally did that and I painted it this really beautiful shade of pink. And some of the parts are actually like coming undone because like I only did one coat. But I actually like the way it looks. Like it kind of gives it like a shabby chic, um, you know, imperfect old age vintage look. And then I just Mod Podge this label that I printed off of Pinterest. And I just hot glued this little white flower from the Dollar Tree and I really love how this came out. My next shabby chic idea is to print off lyrics from your favorite song. And I just chose La Vie and Rose. And you can distress this. I've seen people like crumple it up and like put coffee and age it. I still have not done that yet, but I was gonna do this for one of my DIY projects and then Mod Podge it to the back of one of those Dollar Tree signs, but like paint it first. And I think it's just so cute. It's so shabby chic and it's so romantic. So my next idea is to cut up a bunch of bows from old fabric that you find at the thrift store. And I actually found the shabby chic collection. Um, fabric. It was like an old sheet set and I cut it up into all of these bows. How cool is that? And there are so many uses to these. You can tie them around your neck like if you make them longer and you can like hot glue them to your projects like say like this project from earlier. You can just literally hot glue that like and how cute and just even if like you want to go like this and just hot glue this to that and just leave it like that for like a photo prop, like how cute is that? You can basically hot glue these to anything. You can make jewelry out of them. You can hot glue them to purses, like spice up your accessories and make them look shabby chic. And it's cool though because like they don't have to be perfect. You don't have to know how to sew and you just don't have to make them perfect. Like they are all different sizes, all different colors. These are actually like little ribbon ones. And there's just so much like different fabrics and varieties and sizes that you can create. My next project that I have is I created this Audrey Hepburn Lavia and Rose hat and this is actually like a child's hat otherwise I would be wearing this right now but it's not but I mainly made this for decor purposes so if you want to hang it up on your wall go ahead and do that it's super easy to make and it's so shabby chic and girly 
And I just got these wooden letters from the Dollar Tree as well as I just had this like laying around. Never throw out ribbon because it can be used again and again. And even if I wanted to like switch out this one, I can totally just like make one like a little bit longer with different fabric and you could just keep customizing it. So this hat pretty much cost me like two, three dollars to make. So next up I have this sign. I actually purchased this from a little vintage shop. It is so shabby chic. I love the colors and somebody actually hand painted all of the roses on. I don't know how to paint roses, but you could totally make your own sign or even just like look for them online. I'm pretty sure like people are selling smaller versions of the signs because these wooden things can get really expensive, but I really love this one and it's just so shabby chic and you can just put it on your door entryway, you can hang it up on your wall. So next up I have this candle holder and it's just like a little pillar stand. It's pretty big, it's like pretty big. Um, this was $5 at my local Goodwill. I really love this. It's so like, you know, shabby chic and like imperfect and it's just that shabby chic angelic style and I really love it. I have yet to put a candle on the top of this, but I really like how it just sits, you know, you could just sit it on the floor and it just looks so cute. So my last piece that I have to share with you is just this picture frame and anything with floral, you know, in a nice gold frame, definitely shabby chic. Even white frames, definitely even more shabby chic. But I love the gold and like the flower. It's just so cute and girly and romantic and it just adds such like luxurious shabby chic vibes to my room so I definitely really like this. This is actually not even from my room, it's from my hallway. This is from my mom's collection. My mom has a bunch of vintage uh, picture frames and you know she collects angels, she loves angels, that's why I love angels as well. So yes, I really love this and it's going to be really cute to take pictures of. And all of this stuff actually doubles if you're like into photography. You could totally just like mix and match everything and just like take flat lays of this stuff and you know just go crazy. I love taking pictures and you know editing the pictures, making them look so aesthetic and it just doubles up so it's like decor photography props. If you guys are inspired from today's video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below which of these ideas was your favorite. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of my upcoming content and also don't forget to follow me on all of my social media. Everything will be linked down below as usual and I will see you guys in my next lovely video.